Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. This video is about how to install a macro, mainly Eskimos macros. So we're gonna go, somebody, uh, I've done a video like this, but I'm gonna try to update it. Somebody asked about it. So I'm gonna go to, well, I should have had this ready. Um, Eskimos macro right here. And I've, I've shared one right there. And go down, this is 18. I'll put a link to all the macros. Then go to zip, double click on it. It'll come up with this box. Double click on that and then go to a download and download it. And then double click. Well, you don't have to double click. So here's our undo marker by JQ. It's going to put it in users, user download. So just go ahead and click on it. It's putting it in there. It's put it in there. We're going to go to C drive users, users, downloads, and it's way down here because I've, I've done a lot of them. And there's his undo marker, okay? So, but we need to move that. So I'm gonna open this up and leave it open. And now I'm gonna go up to, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but take away the download. Go to Windows, that opens up all these things and we actually need to, let's close that. Let's go back to C. Sometimes, there it is, Program Files. Now, click on the arrows, don't click on the word. And then we're gonna go down to, or up to Corel. I'm clicking on the arrow, not the word. Clicking on the arrow in the graphic or the Corel I want. Go to draw, click on it. There's our GMS, we need to grab it and put it into your GMS file. I've already got one there. Uh, I'm just gonna say, okay, it's done it. Now go to Corel and go to tools, scripts, or macros, depending on which one yours says. Go to scripts. I've already got it in there, but here's how you get it in there. Go to load and for some reason it's not in there. Maybe because I've already got it in there. Oh, there, there it is right there. And then just, sorry, click on it, say open. See, it, it put another one in there. I don't need, I've done this twice now. I'm pretty sure you could just delete it. Undo those two. So there's that macro, it's gonna stay in there forever. Now this macro, and I'll put a link to it at the bottom of it, but if you open up your Windows Docker's history, and See, I move something, I move something again, I draw a um, square. Well, I created those at 1439. Now I'm gonna hit U because I made a hotkey for it. Now it's 1448. And it's pretty easy to make a hotkey for it. I've got a video on this on how to make that hotkey. But let's make some, a couple other. So this is just what this macro could do and go, you know, I don't like those. I wanna go back to there. I don't like those, I wanna go back to there. And you could always go forward, back up. It's like your undo, but this is more of a history and you can actually make a mark. And you, it'll actually put markers here, but this is a lot bigger uh, page that I find I use the history more. So that's how to insta install, and I will put a link to all of his macros at the bottom of the video. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.